with. So you can give us a take if you want game four tomorrow night. There's more interesting things, obviously, to discuss. I will. Can I give you a take for game four? Please. I actually really like the Mavericks. Okay. <laughs> so, well, you know, Luke is not going to, Luke is not going to go down without a fight at the very least. This is a, this is a very brace yourselves, everyone. This is a very non-mathematical take. Uh, there are two things that are interesting about this game. So first of all, like you're paying fair price versus games one and two that were in California. Like this is just like basically a home court flip. Um, whereas in last night's game, you were not paying fair price. There was like extra built into that for the down O2 angle. I mean, it was like an 11 point, 10 point flip basically from what we saw uh, in games one and two. So, this is like you're paying, you're getting fair price for this game. Uh, Dallas t- sweeps are always bizarre. The sweeps that you generally want to avoid are where there are like obvious changes coming on the team, <laughs> front office, coach, star player, turmoil, whatever. Like so the like Brett Brown Sixers, Brett Brown Sixers is the the biggest example of that. But even you know, like I, I'm trying to think of like teams this year that would have fallen into that. You know, like if the I don't know. I'm not going to be able to think of a couple off the top of my head. There were def- uh, if the Jazz had found themselves in a sweep situation, you would have been like. Nah, <laughs> like I'm, I'm good because you knew the Gobert, maybe. right? You knew the Gobert Mitchell story was already written. It was just going to come out the next day after they got eliminated. So, like, okay, I want to avoid those. Um, this isn't that at all. This is a team on the way up. And Golden State in both of their previous series did kind of had trouble in the obvious putaway game. Lose the game to Denver. Memphis game five. They lose by a million. They pump the game basically with Jaw out. Um, there's the, <laughs> the shots of Curry and Draymond with a whoop that trick playing yeah, and they do Draymond's trick. like waving the towel at them. You ever see Hustle and Flow, by the way? No. You ever see that movie? It's out. We did this. We did this on the show that. last week while you were out. And I think it was, was it Scott, was it me and Will or me and Jeremy Connor trying to like figure out what whoop that trick means? And neither of us knew. Oh, I think it was Will. Yeah. But just in the, in the put away spots, they're just, they've had a bunch of trouble and Dallas doesn't strike me as like a team I would want to avoid in this situation, I guess would be the right way to put it. So it's really not like a pro Dallas argument. I just, I kind of like this number with what I kind of think I'm going to get from the Warriors in this situation. Cause we've seen it twice already. Uh, I actually think I'm going to have a bet on the Mavs in the game. And it's not like, it's not, it's not like it's one and it's supposed to be two or three or six or whatever. Um, I just kind of like the spot, honestly. I-